Miss Price? Are you all right? You know where I've been. Get me a fresh drink, will you, honey? Did that take four hours? I was gone four hours? It's been about that long. Thanks, honey. You told me you'd be right up. I told you that and left you here? <laughs> well? Are you kidding? What do you mean, here? All right, where did I leave you? In back of the Can Can Club. I left you at the... At the Can Can. Where'd I say I was going? I was gone four hours. Where'd I say I was going? Where was I going? You're hurting me. Who is this, honey? Oh, Harry. This is station WADM. For our late, late listeners, we present a rebroadcast of a program transcribed earlier this evening. Say, Harry. Your host is Larry What's Jackson. What's your name? All Hollywood has turned <laughs> yeah. out for this gala widescreen well, premiere of Blondes on Broadway home. at the Babylonian really? Theater. The picture Don't introduces so the me. sensational blonde discovery, Monica Madison. Miss Madison is right here at the microphone now, waiting to say hello. I'd like to tell your fans that your escort tonight is Claude Olmsted, one of our town's better-known columnists, who's responsible for bringing Miss Madison to Hollywood's attention. That's right. Nice to have you at the mic, Claude. It's a little late. Pleasure's you? old mind, Larry. Ladies and gentlemen, it was Mr. Olmsted that made Monica Madison the most talked-about young actress through his widely syndicated column. Am I not right, Monica? Yes. I'm very grateful to Mr. Olmsted. I was merely the first okay. to see the obvious. All right, that's a date now. Uh, 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 have, Say, have Harry. Have you seen the picture? No, what do you look like? It's wonderful, and I'm sure. Oh, sure, I was only well, kidding. Well, thank you, Monica Madison. And Crazy, Paul honey. Olmsted for chatting with us. Thank you. Good night, Larry. Monica Madison, ladies and gentlemen, a girl with a wonderful future. What future. again? And coming to the microphone right now is the star of Blondes on Broadway, Felicia Flanders. By all I've heard about B on B Blondes on Broadway, it's a great show and you've never looked better. Want some? I missed you. Where'd you been? Are you nuts? You've been ignoring me, Al. Oh, for crying out loud. You want to cause trouble? Come here. Why can't we do things out of the open? Why are we always hiding? Why don't you tell her? I told you why. She doesn't give you a divorce, leave her. I'll go with you anywhere. It won't work. Have you, have you told her that you don't love her? That you love only me? Have you told her that, Al? It's no use. We fight like cats and dogs, yet she swears she'd never give me a divorce. You think she'd be tired of supporting you? Sorry. I guess that was below the belt, wasn't it? Maybe this will ease the pain. I'm cured. You better make sure. Good for nothing, but I'm crazy about you. You're trouble, Al. You always will be. But I've come along to give you a taste of your own medicine. We're wrong for each other. But I wouldn't have it any other way. I want to make you want me so that you'll keep wanting only me. I love you, Al. Guy wasn't even in your class. You just said I'm a lot of trouble. I'm not fancy and I'm not famous. And 
You know how I scrounge for my dough. You'll have money someday. You told me yourself if things work out, you'll have a lot of money. Anyway, I don't care about that. I've had them. I've had too many old men making promises. You're the thing I've always wanted. You're the only man for me. I feel my life would make sense. There's a signal fire in your lips, and you can be tender when you want to. What's wrong? Not the same. What isn't? Us. Something's wrong. Just the idea of Peggy being in danger makes this thing between us seem wrong. What are you talking about? We've got to find out. What are you trying to pull? Nothing. What's this hot and cold routine? What's going on? A couple of hours ago, a guy came up to the apartment, gave me a phony story about wanting me to caricature him. Peggy was tired, and we got into an argument, and I blew. I left the guy up in the apartment with her. So? The girl was murdered, and this guy, I, I don't know. I'm not sure, but this guy I left up in the apartment with her. He might be the murderer. Nothing's happened to her. What about me? I'm sorry, Candy. I didn't figure on things boomeranging the way they did. I was sure I didn't need her when I first met you. Tonight, I need her more than I ever did. I must have been crazy out of my head to figure it any other way. With or without violins, I'd call this a brush off. It was my mistake. Tonight, my Peggy is the most important thing in my life. Forget about us, Candy. It's like you said, you and I, we just don't add up together. Sure. Sure, I'll forget you. I'll stop searching for my kind of a dream. Maybe some guy will come along. A nice, quiet, shy type. We'll get married and have a normal, bored life. Cut it. I'm worried sick about my wife. Can't you understand that? There's a killer on the prowl, and she might be his next victim. Well, there's your victim now. You're wasting your time worrying about her. Where have you been? Now look here, Bo. I hope you didn't mind. Mind? Why should I mind? She's only my wife. You're too sure you haven't met somewhere before this morning? You know, it didn't register at first. I'd been drinking at the club. But out in the fresh air, it all came into focus. Why would anybody want me to draw them at such a late hour? You know you can find me at the club every night till closing. Everybody will know what a good for nothing I'm married to. Come on. What have you two been up to? You've been drinking. And after I've been worrying my head off about you. Why bother with her? This is your chance to leave her. This is our chance. This is our chance. I've got things to do. Where's that fancy? Will you be back? I'll be waiting for you, Al. I'll be waiting. Dead, and I could have killed you in the apartment. And, and they blame him. Where's Monica's caricature? I don't One understand. Little diamond you, are you going crazy? You're in with him. Peggy Armstead and Lush Castillo. They're all against me. Don't look at me like you're crazy, crazy. Crazy, am I? That cop Stevens was in your apartment. What did he say to you? What do you know about the caricature? I can't, I don't know what you're talking you about. You know, tell me. Don't, Al, I'm telling you the truth. I... Listen, Candy, whatever the cop Stevens told you to do, don't do it. Don't. You've got to help me, Candy. Tell me what to do, Al. Just say it. The caricature. Homestead S. Stevens has it. you got to get it for me. i got to have it. i got to. They'll kill me, see? Yeah, yeah sure, I'll help you, Al. That's a lie. Like everything else about you, that's a lie. No, I'm trying to help 
you. I don't know how, but if you want the caricature, I'll get it for you. You're lying. Just like the phony paint on your face. I love you, baby. Where is it? Tell me. You gotta help me, Candy. Candy, please. You're crazy. Crazy. I did it for us, for you. I tried to get some money from Rana so you and I could, we could go off together. She told me she'd tell the cops. I had to stop her. Somebody please help me. Please. I love you, Candy. You know that, don't you? Whatever I did, I, I did for you. Where the caricature is now. Won't you, Candy? <laughs> <laughs>